Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with Jaws Krull, of course, the Skyrender, and today we're going up against Cleo. Now, we've done that before, and you will keep doing that as long as we need to, really, because Cleo is a very, very good battler, and I just can't help myself when I have a good battle against her. Uh, it just brings uh, so much joy to me because, well, they are just worth of uploading, really. And uh, just looking through our team here, we got a very, very mighty team here with Kangaskhan, Dugon, Nidorina, Primeape, Electabuzz, and Pasect. I myself is using a water based team that I know I designed to, well, the best of my abilities to not be so straight on water, besides, well, it helping out Cabotops, really. Uh, but we got Wishcast with Hydration, we got Torterra to help it out with the fire fire moves. Uh, Chimenko just supported really. Uh, Articuno basically to help the Hurricane land. Uh, Electro is the um, Rain Dance Setter and Volt Switcher. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, just gonna Volt Switch, setting up Rain Dance and then get out of there. It has hidden power of water if it has to fend itself off, uh, and has access to Thunder Wave in case it's gonna go down. Uh, and Kebatops is just a generic sweeper set with Life Orb. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with Whiskast because it has the superior matchup with everything against her besides the Parasect. So I was thinking that that was probably gonna be my safest move, uh, no matter how she decides to go at it. So, uh, really, with all of these in mind, let's go. So, yeah, you know, with that said, uh, she of course gonna start with the Parasect, and I was like, yeah, just my luck, just my luck, really. And um, I decided here that I'm not gonna take any chances. While I could predict the Spore, um, it still is something I don't wanna take a Seed Bomb, because that would just destroy my Wish Cast. So I go out and go to Articuno, which is actually defensively, uh, to some extent, with high speed. But she's gonna go for the safer move, which is the Spore. And, um, mm, mm. Uh, at least you know we play by smaller rules, I don't really need to worry about it, but damn, probably shouldn't have gone for Ice Beam anyway. Um, so anyway, she's gonna go to the Ape Man, and uh, I was a bit surprised by this, very very surprised to be honest, and um, just for the hell of it, I don't really see the point of uh, uh, staying in just in case, I would definitely, you know, in mind of that it could be, well, um, offensively oriented, it is actually specially specs. And while that doesn't do a whole lot, it's still kudos to Cleo for using that. Uh, Primer actually got a very nice move pool of special moves. Maybe not a special attack for it, but hey, I'm not here to judge. That was really, really cool. I love that. Uh, so she's got to go back to the Parasect. And I think that I went for Nerf Power because I knew that Scald would be too... Uh, well, looking at that damage, that is pitiful. But I couldn't really go for a Scald because I knew that this thing packs dry skin. I'll try to use one on my own and never was successful with it, but uh, she is pulling some weight here. And obviously I'm not gonna stay in, there is just no way, so I'm just gonna try to stall out turns here for the sleep with Articuno. And she will do the knockoff actually, which was even worse, predicting a switch out, you know, definitely taking advantage of my position. And I'll say that works, that works really well. She's gonna bring the Shaolin, which is the Dugong, and uh, yeah! I really have nothing for Dugong. As long as Dugong is here, I can't really go for um, um, my Torterra because I do expect this thing to have eye shot. My Torterra is actually a, a rock polished set, but like I said, uh, the speed doesn't really matter if she can have speed with priority, and I shot should do a good amount of damage. And look at that Icicle Sphere, that did too much, and I was predicting here to go for an Aqua Jet here felt that that was probably the easiest move I'm gonna go to the Hustler and there is the Aqua Jet and uh, not gonna lie I take this really well more well than I thought I would and I'm basically I think I decided here just to go directly for the no I went for Thunder Wave right and after that I went for the um, Rain Dance and the Psychic will do a bit too much not gonna lie that that is bad that is really bad she was probably predicting a uh, volt switch thinking about it uh, i don't know if uh, electabuzz has motor drive or not um, as a lesser evolution i don't think it has that but yes i can't figure out what it has uh, so anyway i gotta go to articuno basically second it uh, pre predicting of course the psychic because then i can bring my cabotops and i'm in for at least seven turns of rain now cabotops has um, 
it is quite powerful once the rain is going. So I gotta go to Strider, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the Ninja reference for the for the yeah. Trying to say the game Strider, obviously. Uh, anyway, just gonna go for knockoff, predicting a switch out here, and uh, it doesn't kill. It doesn't kill. And the reason I didn't go for Waterfall is because, like I said, the dry skin. The dry, dry skin is just too much for me to deal with. I can't really risk that. So I go for another knockoff, consider the amount of damage I did previously. It should be just about enough, not risking the rock slide. And um, she's gonna go to her Prime Ape, and even though I think it might be scoffed, uh, she will not be able to outspeed because I am max speed just to make sure that no Scarfer will, during the rain, take me out. Besides, of course, the priority, and uh, that worked real nicely. And she'll now bring the Charlene, and um, she's gonna go for fake out, stalling out for turns. I was really feeling here that uh, she could potentially, with Aqua Jet, bring me down to a very bad range, and that would not be good, but I had to risk it. So I gotta go for Rock Slide, and the Rock Slide will actually be enough, luckily, to take her out. Now, the Life Orb, of course, will whittle me down, and there is not like a lot of priorities I can take much more here and I feel like Kangaskhan with Sucker Punch would kinda solve the issue for her and um, I couldn't risk that, I just I couldn't, I still needed the speed because that was the only way I could be able to deal with uh, ooh, what do you call him, the Electa Buzz once the rain is off so she's gonna go for fake out there like I predicted the rain will stop at the same time of that which makes it even worse and uh, yeah basically here I decided to go for Thunder Wave so she's going for Double Edge is damn close of taking me off or taking me down off uh, as I go for T wave you know that's great that's all I wanted but I can't believe it she is packing the lumberry I was like no <laughs> how do I stop this thing how um I should I could set up the rain again with Electa Buzz we still are in that position where uh, due to her having sucker punch it might just not be enough so she just go for the power up punch here. I decided to go for a side shock, which was bad actually. I didn't think I would survive the next move considering double edge. But she go for the thunder punch uh, or power up punch, and that's great. And I decided to go for thunder wave in case you go for another power up punch, hoping I will live. And one HP, baby. Mmm. Pull that off like a champ, and we got this thing paralyzed. I can't believe it. I can't. I just I can't. And I decided to go for a re re recover. Hoping so much that this thing will be fully paralyzed um, And the luck of me she actually goes for the sucker punch here. probably predicting attack. You know, that's great. That's awesome, and I get to recover off and um, As of right now, I really just have to find a way to kill it and sucker punch will definitely kill me But she's paralyzed two turns in a row while I do go for the side shock and um, yeah, it's not dead. It's not dead. It's not dead. I can't believe it. Uh, so anyway, I just thought that, you know, she probably going for Sucker Punch again, so I'm just gonna go for Recover. Trying to take this Sucker Punch better. I probably won't be able to take it, but I felt that, you know, that's my only shot. And what do you know, she's fully paralyzed for third time while I do attack her. And that's Kangaskhan out of the way. And there is some pure hack shenanigans going right in there, destroying everything for her. And she's gonna go to Gunther, um, which is like the um, wire, and um, I think I just went for damage here because there is not a whole lot I can do. Hell, I'll even go so far and say, you know, that I just, I was so surprised that this thing works that, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna, even gonna care anymore. So there's a side shock, and it is not enough to take out Nidrina, which I thought was kind of impressive. And Nidrina is actually faster than me, and with Hustle, her crunch will destroy this poor Chimenko, but Chimenko, you did well, hell, I never seen a Chimenko pull in so much weight, that was, that was awesome, lovely, lovely Chimenko, and, um, she has nothing now to really stop me from going for the rain dance, consider that, uh, she showed me life for, which means that I can sack off the hustler, and, um, let the crunch kill her, and then just, basically go into my uh, cabbage top so um, yeah that is the hustler gone best name ever and actually the aftermath did take her out how about that I did not even think about the aftermath I just going for life or damage gonna kill her but hey that works too and like I said the last matchup 
is actually the cabbage tops against the electabuzz and due to rain even though she is um, if she is scoffed she will not be able to be outspeeding and uh, cabbage tops will finish the game and i must say cabbage tops i think it took out four of her six pokemon that is one hell of a poke and what a great pokemon in rain dance really its coverage just might as well solve the, the major issues and uh, yeah i'm really glad using it but Shimenko was definitely the MVP here, stood out the chance against the Kangaskhan, was which was definitely the only thing standing in my way between Kabutop sweeping. So, Cleo, GG. So yeah, not a lot of afterthoughts after this battle. I mean, Cleo, as always, pulling, you know, some great, great offenses in every battle, really. And I came through this time, yes, but I might as well not have been able to. And even if I, you know, if you think about it, the Kangaskhan might as not be might have not been able to deal with uh, my Torterra but then again uh, she got the power of punches up so it might as well just have done the trick who the hell knows I was glad it wasn't a factor considered that Shimenko came out of it but um, yeah Cleo good game I had a lot of fun and uh, I'm looking forward to of course the rematch because hell I tend to lose you usually obviously uh, but anyway guys, I want to thank you for watching as always, and make sure to leave a like if you like this battle, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, and remember, the sky's limit, and until next time, I'll see you then. <laughs> Smooth. Bye guys.